Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and uh, this is the summary for the day of 733 for the 26th of February and a lot of massive changes again uh, for this uh, report so stay tuned, uh, there's a lot, a lot to talk about and uh, we're going to start off with the Frontline Changes report and uh, the first thing is to go to the Adiafka front so at the Adiafka front in the north of Donetsk city and um, this there is massive changes as you can see all these red ones are the newly uh, captured places by the russian forces and um so we have the first uh confirmation from deep state ua the uh, pro-ukrainian source acknowledging the fall of stepove as well as uh at Giverny. so we move into the stepove region the main reason for this uh uh acknowledgement was this uh, geolocation uh seeing russian forces in the south uh, southwestern part of Stepovay confirming the entire fall of Stepovay. Uh, Russian forces basically advanced towards Bedaichi, uh, capturing uh, Stepovay in the process and they are heading into the southeastern outskirts of Bedaichi. So starting the battle of Bedaichi. So this, uh, this is the uh, Stepovay region. If we move further south, uh, at the Olivka region, the Russian forces as per I have uh, talked about the Russians are continuing to push for Olivka. And uh, with this push, they have uh, come to the north northeastern outskirts of Olivka. And the attack coming from the north of Tonenke has indeed put pressure to force the Ukrainian withdrawal. So I have mentioned yesterday because of this push coming from the north towards Tonenke, uh, from Lashtoshkine, Ukrainian forces will not be able to uh, hold Germany, and this is indeed what we have seen. The frontline change suggests that the Russian forces have con uh, have conquered the entire northern part of Germany, uh, while the Russians are actually pushing outwards towards the north of Tunenke, and uh, they have basically uh, starting clearing operations at Germany, and based on Russian mapping, they also claim the south of Tunenke, which means that they are heading towards uh, Tunenke from the south. So. You may see this color uh, boxes a bit confusing. So uh, let me uh, explain uh, what I want. So this is uh, Deep State UA. Uh, this is Ukrainian conceding that they have lost this area. However, in their mapping, they did not show Russian have firm control over on the entire settlement, despite they claim that Shevene uh, or Severny has been captured by the Russian forces. The most Western part of this is not acknowledged to be firm firm russian control however however they did uh, give up this part this they disclaimed this part however the southern part of germany they still continue to claim to be under gray zone then this part this is russian claim uh, this is the russians claim that they have pushed up so the ukrainians have not acknowledged this the ukrainian mapping is still you know they still believe that this is under ukrainian control or this is actually a gray zone so this is the entire situation over at the at the afghan front uh, a lot of change towards uh stepovy towards badaichi towards olivka towards uh, the north of germany south of tonenke capture of germany so this is the front line changes as you can see the ukrainian lines are absolutely collapsing particularly we are talking about this part the northern part uh, the central part of the adfk front as this is the weak spot and uh, with the fall of tepove and the battle going to badaichi badaichi is like a final line of defense before uh, the russians hit the soft spot as well and uh, we move on to the next front line change is over at the bakhmut front so this is bakhmut city and uh, this is ivanivsky and uh, at the at the Ivanivsky region, based on Russian mapping, the Russian forces continue their push from the north and northeastern part of Ivanivsky, and they have entered and captured almost the entire northeastern part of Ivanivsky, uh, lining up along the highway. And uh, this is a massive change, uh, but this is only on the Russian claims that uh, Ukrainians have not acknowledged uh, this uh, frontline change just yet so this is the Bakhmut front a very very uh, significant change this is the battle of Ivanisky going on and uh, we also have one more frontline change it's also super significant it's over at the Donetsk front in the north of Marinka this is Krasnohorivka at Krasnohorivka uh, yesterday I mentioned about the rumors uh, of that of some big attack 
against Krasnohorivka. So we have information today. The Russian forces are attacking from two def different directions. They are attacking from the east and coming from the south. And based on the mapping, uh, the in the southern part, the Russian forces basically have stormed up this tree line, crossing some very shallow water body, and uh and entered the southernmost part of Krasnohorivka. This is very very uh interesting because um the Ukrainian forces actually always have been uh, around this area here, and uh the this breakthrough is probably a shock for the Ukrainian forces. Anyway, I got to talk more during the sit wrap. So this is the frontline changes report.